What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today, I'm talking my weekly sneaker rotation, so stay tuned. Open one day, I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I start a new life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. Alright, man, I'm back with another video now. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Alright, so let's dive into today's video. Just like I said in the intro, man, I am back with another weekly sneaker rotation. Now, this should be week 98 to the best of my knowledge. And if I'm wrong, feel free to correct the kid down in the comment section. Now, y'all already know I started this series off at the beginning of the year in 2023. And here we are. We're on week 98, right? Okay. Now, if you want to get a sneak peek of what I'm wearing throughout the week, sign up for that sold out Discord. The link should be pinned at the top of the comment section. And it is free to sign up. Well, of course, we talk sneaker talk. You know, we got sneaker rotations over there or a pretty much show your soul section is what we call it, right? Okay. And then we have a music section, a sports section. So a lot of things going over there. So whenever I can't pretty much drop content on time here, you will find it there in the sold out discord. Now, um, enough rambling. Let's get into this weekly sneaker rotation. Now, y'all know I end things off on a Friday, then pick right back up on Saturday. So pretty much, let's just go ahead and start with this Saturday. Pretty much, the kid had to step up to the chop shop. It was time for me to actually just get my hair redone. As you can see, I don't no longer rock in the cornrows. I kind of went back to my old style. So hopefully, you guys could probably already notice that at this point. But if not, here we go. So pretty much Saturday, the kid stepped in none other than the Air Jordan 1, George town now this shoe that i did pay resale for but i didn't get cracked over the head um especially at the time when these joints came up people were taxing they were very very hard to cop even though i came pretty pretty close for copping them for retail and i'll say what i paid for them was pretty much close to retail now this is not my favorite color but at the same time i like the versatility on these guys right here i mean it's pretty much navy blue in that gray and i feel like why not and there's a lot of versatility behind this shoe um a shoe that i probably don't rock enough but at the same time when these joints came out i was doing my very 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 best to try to cop these guys but this was my saturday shoes what i rocked pretty much all day and i will say saturday was a very long day for the kid but totally worth it not just because of my hair just because of all the errands and stuff like that and of course you know there's day that obviously i go live so i just had a lot on the plate but anyway this was my saturday shoe was the air jordan one georgetown and i've always said that if Allen Iverson may have would have signed with Nike versus Reebok, this could have been easily a Allen Iverson collab if you ask the kid. But that's just me, and hey, who am I? But this was my Saturday shoe. It was the Air Jordan 1 George Town. Cool, now we're gonna move right along on to Sunday. Sunday is pretty much my chill day, my relaxed day. I try my very, very best to do absolutely positively nothing. So pretty much that means the kid was in the crib and I was pretty much just in my Yeezy slides. Pretty much if I did anything at best, maybe take out the trash, maybe went and got something to eat, if that, or run to 7-Eleven to get some just miscellaneous things. But this was I wore was the like Yeezy slides right here. And this is the pure colorway. Um, as you can see, my pair are pretty, pretty beat, but I do that on purpose. I mean, I'm definitely going to get my money's worth because this is one of those shoes where I paid resale at the time and at low key, all I had to do was wait till the following year, but I didn't know Ye was going to do what he did to make pretty much a Yeezy's Lives pretty much readily available because Adidas pretty much put them joints on sale. So now I'm sitting on a lot of Yeezy Slides, but um, I will say, I'm not gonna say they're indestructible, but they are very long lasting. Now, you look at the toe box on my joint, yeah, you can tell I've definitely been scruffed from the front. And yeah, but I'm gonna wear these joints until the rubber just, I guess, burns into the ground, so to speak, and I'm gonna get my money's worth. But this was my Sunday shoe, was a Yeezy Slide, pure. Cool, now we're gonna move right along on to Monday. Now I will say I was actually off because Monday was actually Veterans Day and the kid was chilling pretty much, but I did have to run the errands and pretty much still just prepare for my typical day on a Monday, even though I was off. You know, I will say that one thing I've learned as an adult, there's always something to do that you need to get done. And that's just what it felt like on Monday. So Monday, the kid pretty much ran some errands and I did it none other than in my Nike Dunk and these are my 
pandas another shooter that i consider like a beater as you can see i don't know if you guys can tell and the camera may not be doing this any justice but they're definitely dirty but at the same time i will probably say my dirty sneaker compared to probably what somebody else considered like a dirty sneaker may be totally two different things but i had to run to the grocery store you know pretty much that was one of the things on the list and you know what i didn't want to just move in the easy slides i'm like you know what we can grab some stuff so i will say this is one of these shoes and a shoe that you should have in a collection that if you don't have any beaters you should have some beaters in your collection some shoes that you're not afraid where if something happens to them you're not afraid to get them like messed up you can see the toe creases on this joint well not really showing that bad on this one but there are toe creases this joint i don't care about the shoe at the end of the day but it's still a decent shoe where the people let you know that you still pay attention what you want on your feet so this was my monday shoe was a nike dunk low panda and just ironically i remember when resale was actually trying to sell these for 400 bucks yeah get out of here with that but this was my monday shoe cool now we're gonna move right on on to tuesday to care right back at the work after enjoying a great day off and just honestly just relaxing to the best of my ability but anyway the kid stepped in the building and none other than the yeezy 350 b2 and these are the bread a shoe that used to be very very hard to obtain right okay now i did pay resale for this but i actually waited until adidas actually did that restock and that brought that this shoe down on the resale market and of course yay doing what he do actually helped the kid out as well um i will say this black and red y'all know me i'm a major sucker for the color red so it only made sense that i really really wanted to shoe. and i know this style of shoe is actually kind of going out of style so to speak but I'm not gonna be that guy that burned his Yeezys like everybody else, right, okay? And I'm not knocking the people who did, but I just won't be one of them. Now, I will say we don't rock this, and it kind of gives me that like Roshi vibes type of vibe with this one, but at the same time, it is still a Yeezy and it's still an Adidas sneaker. I know it features that boost. I will say this, at the time when Adidas was really hard to get your hands on, people were trying to sell boost was way better than air. I can honestly say that while i may notice a slight difference but let's say cool i'll put it like this the best way to describe it maybe the bottom of the shoe if you're flat-footed is comfortable but what's the point if the toe box is pointed out and it just makes it it kind of offsets it so honestly i can't really tell the difference and that's just me but this was my tuesday shoe was a 350 b2 bread cool now we're gonna move right along on to wednesday to care right back at the work one of my favorite shoes that i don't wear enough but i used to wear a lot but we're back at it so wednesday the kids stepped in none other than the air jordan 4 and these are the um white cement fours right okay we got this little joint here that kind of popped off to kind of throw the kid off but yeah the white cement fours man one of my favorite shoes increased very very easily now rumors is they're supposed to be recycling these joints now if they don't have that nike check on the back i don't want it but that's one of the things that really sold me on these guys right here and i don't know if the camera's gonna do this any justice but there's definitely yellowing on this shoe but it's aging quite well though to be honest it's still very wearable and very still versatile a shoe that i don't wear enough but i will say fours is arguably one of my favorite silhouettes in my collection hands down no worries about it at all but this was my wednesday shoe was the air jordan four and this is the white cement i know there's other versions of this joint like where it had the jump man on these joints but me you know the kid i'm always a sucker for the nike check on the back of this joint but anyway this was my wednesday shoe um anyway let's move on right along on to thursday we pretty much called for rain it was a rainy day in the kids area or anticipated at least anyway so y'all know me i always and i will say this it's just maybe me i always check for the weather whenever i'm trying to rock certain kicks because um Certain shoes, I really just don't want to get wet because some of the shoes, if you get wet, it's almost impossible to bring them back to like, not saying it's not possible, but some of it, if you get wet, it'll fade them this and a third. I have been there before. Don't want to go down that road again. But anyway, pretty much on Thursday, they came right back at the work and I stepped in none other. And this is the Nike Foam Posit. And these are the Royals, AKA Penny Hardaways, whatever you want to call them. But the Royal Foam Posit, this is a shoe that I almost came this close to like sleeping on but then I was like, you know what? This is an OG shoe that I didn't get back in the day. And y'all know me, I've been in my nostalgia phases for quite some time. So I figured like, why not, right? Okay, Um, I think like, I actually did pick these up from DTLR. I actually went on and ordered them online. And y'all know me as much as I am a major sucker for the color red, 
I'm convinced at this point in my life, I'll rock any color. I don't care. Um, that's not why I'm into this. You know what I'm saying? I'm in it to, if I like the shoe, I like the shoe. Penny Hardaway logo on the back of the joint for the people who don't know. This shoe is very, very important, man. And um, I will say this, it just brings me back to that childhood. And that's, I think that's where I'm at ultimately with this. But anyway, this was my Thursday shoe, was the Nike Foam Posit Royals. Cool. Now we're gonna pretty much close out the week on Friday, right back at the work. I know I work a full-time job, but Fridays, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I used to go all out on Fridays, but now I kind of just pick something that, again, I just aim for that comfort level, man. And I think that's where I'm at with it too. That still looks nice, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, I stepped in none other than the Air Jordan 7, and these are the Bordeaux, right? Okay, I believe produced in 2015, or at least when they dropped anyway, they dropped in 2015. Air Jordan 7s, I feel like this is arguably one of those shoes that falls way low on a list that don't get enough love. But I will say this, if you're looking for a comfortable Air Jordan sneaker, Air Jordan 7s falls into that boat. Air Jordan 14s fall in that boat. Air Jordan 13s fall in that boat. So 13s, 14s, and 7s, I will say arguably are the favorites. I'm pretty sure I think I just said 13s like twice, but I meant 14s, 13s, and 7. I will say super duper comfortable. The shoe is overall pretty much light to the best of my knowledge. And again, a lot of people don't like 7s because I'll keep it 100. They're not the most appealing, but they're not bad either, man. It's just kind of one of those, if you know, but these are the Bordeaux sevens. Um, yeah, super duper comfortable. One of my favorites in my collection. And at one point this used to be the shoe. If you knew, you knew. But anyway, this was my Friday shoe. And yeah, that completes my weekly sneaker rotation for this week. What do you guys think? Y'all sign off in the comment section. Let me know what you wore throughout the week as well. Y'all know I look forward to reading the comment sections. Other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you know, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.